It's the Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Before you get in the tizzy, wouldn't you like to say good morning first? Mrs. Carmichael, with my station wagon filled with yowling kids, good morning is the last thing I would like to say. Oh, now, now, Mr. Mooney. I couldn't be like the other fathers and take up golf. I thought that would be too nerve-wracking. <laughs> Come on, you just sit down and have a cup of coffee. Jerry will be ready in a minute. Well, I hope it's good and hot. My knees are freezing. <laughs> so, uh, I brought your mail in. Thank you. Oh, what is it? A proposal of marriage from a pen pal? <laughs> These are three tickets for the Danny Kay show. Oh. oh, no. What's wrong? They were swamped with requests and I was too late. Oh, of all the miserable luck. Miserable for you? A blessing for Danny. <laughs> got to help me. I gave Chris and Jerry my word. They're just going to be broken-hearted if they don't see that show. Mrs. Carmichael, may I point out that I am your banker, not your ticket broker? But you have connections. Isn't your friend Mr. Crawford a vice president of the network or something? You could call him for tickets. I already did. For Irma and the Bridge Club. He assures me there isn't a single ticket available. Oh, dear. Hey, the stars always have extra tickets. You could ask Mr. Crawford where I could get in touch with Danny Kaye. Knowing you, I would be reluctant to put you in touch with Mr. Ed. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Mooney, now. This is for my kids. Come on, call Mr. Crawford. I can't call him now. He's on his way into New York City. How do you know? Because he is lunching with Danny Kay at the Park Royal, and I may kill myself. <laughs> Danny, please forgive me. Oh, hello, Mr. King. Uh, no. No, I haven't. I'm sorry, we're all filled up. Oh. Well, frankly, I didn't come in to eat. I just wanted to talk to Danny Kay a minute. Please, madam. That is out of the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Out of sorry. the question. But, but I'm one of his biggest fans. I'm sorry, madam. You uh, can't come in. I've, got, I've just got to talk to him. It's very please, important. Please, madam, good day. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Oh, good afternoon, Bruno. Oh, hello, Miss Holloway. <laughs> the girls and I are here for the fashion show. Oh, yes, yes, the fashion show. Well, the dressing rooms are right through here, and your clothes already have arrived. Good. I'll get the girls. Fine. Excuse fine. me. Excuse me. <laughs> Mr. Martin, yes. your table's ready. This way, please. Come on, girl. You know, I heard a, a very, very cute story the other day. 
I, I may use it on the show once you tell me what you think of it. See, this story takes place in a little town in Scarbidia. Now, as you know, Scarbidia is a small country between Bribix and Prokitsupik. <laughs> it used to be Prokitsupik. It's now called Dresnizmuyiznipitz. <laughs> well, there was this native Scarbidian, you see, and he was walking down the street one day, and he stopped to light a cigar. Now, after he got the cigar lit, he leaned down and gave it to his dog to smoke. Oh. Well, at this moment, a Scarbidian lady walked by. Now, they have very cute costumes. She was so cute. She had a thing on her head, and she said... Gentlemen, I would like you to notice this lovely blue sheet. Uh, you see, it's a lovely dear, fabric. Dear, dear, uh, not in the middle of Scarbidia. Oh. <laughs> you almost stepped on the dog just now. Oh, yes. And the lady said, Bruyas noyets is nayets is watches. And the man said, Oh, Boris, is not my jesus. And she said to him, Tsuki nebits is trovich. <laughs> I forgot you fellas don't talk Scarbidian, huh? <laughs> well, anyway, in English, what happened is the woman said, Listen, how long that your dog is smoking cigars? So the man turned to her and he said, Why do you ask me? Why don't you ask the dog? So the little old lady leaned down and said, Hello, Poppy. And the puppy said, Rup! She said, Poppy, tell me something, Poppy. How long you're smoking cigars? And the puppy said, Rup! Ever since I stopped smoking cigarettes. <laughs> That's kind of cute, isn't it? Well, we may use it. I don't know. It's a kind of a cute story. Gentlemen, <laughs> may I call your attention to this handsome cape? It's one of our latest creations. Mr. K, may I have a word with you? What? <laughs> now, I can now. It's very busy. Huh? A little but, later uh, on. Mr. This K, man. I have... Fine. I'm just lucky she didn't set fire to my nose. I'll call a waiter and complain. Oh, why, it's all right. You know, they got marvelous fruit cocktail oh, here. Somebody told me Wonderful about it. fruit cocktail. Now, you know what? I have an advantage over you fellas. See, out in California, I get my fruit by leaning out of the window and picking it right off a tree. Really? Oh, That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah, it's also very dangerous. Last week, I reached for an orange, fell out of the window, and almost drowned. What, did you fall in your swimming pool? No, I fell on an orange. <laughs> we have very juicy oranges in California. <laughs> I was right up to here. And I was trying to get out of this juice, yes, and I thought I was like going to have to get you see that the cape <laughs> turns into a pepsin, you see, when it's removed. Oh, well, it's very nice. And it's made of a lovely Alex I... jersey. Excuse me, dear, I'm working this table. Well, who are you? I'm a new girl. Uh, this smart outfit can be worn for daytime occasions with this lovely piece of costume jewelry can in bright the cherry museum? red. No, no, no. The one yes, number. <laughs> what? Well, I haven't any time now, dear. No, please, will you please not interrupt me? No, no, please. I would like. Oh, Mr. Gay. What's the matter? Don't eat that. Honey, would you please leave me alone? Uh, I'll be all right, honestly. Don't eat that, Mr. K. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be fine. If you're that hungry, I'll leave you some. <laughs> cherry that tastes exactly like wax. <laughs> but, well, I'll call the waiter and complain. Why, it was delicious. I enjoyed it enormously. Well, everything here is delicious. Is it really? Yeah. You must try the cold vichyssoise. It is sensational. Really? Yeah. Well, I'll be sure to order it as soon as the fella comes by. Uh, gentlemen, I... gentlemen, this chic matching oh, handbag no. is not only very smart looking, but really? it's terribly functional. Notice how much it's... Mr. Oh, Mr. Bruno. Bruno! All right, I'm going, I'm Bruno. going. Never mind, never mind. 
Did you call Mr. K? Bruno. You! I'm going. How did you get in here? I'm going. I'm going. Just send the bill to me at the Grand Plaza Hotel. Thank you, Mr. King. That's all. <laughs> young lady, you're a very nice young lady, and I can see how somebody will fall in love with you, but for the moment, please, please go home. Will you please? That's a good girl. Just go home. Well, well, I'm so sorry to tell you. Apologize. Well, it's all right. We have accidents uh, happen, you know. Yeah. Because I understand. So. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> I have told you a dozen times you cannot stand around here waiting for Danny K. Now, come on, get we out just of here. Want Danny For you too, lady. Out. Well, I, I'm not waiting for Danny Kay. I, I'm just getting some fresh air. I live here. Uh oh. What's your room number? Uh, uh 1201. Oh, 1201. Well, yes. then you should be able to get a lot of fresh air up in your room. This building only has eight stories. <laughs> now get along with it. Go on. You can't wait around here. Hurry up! Get! Say, how would you like to make a little extra money? Lady, are you trying to bribe me? Me? Bribe you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. That's the farthest thing from my mind. <laughs> you are trying to bribe me. No, no, it's heavy. I just want you to hold it for me. <laughs> well, I don't know what your little scheme is, but uh, just what do you have in mind? Well... Good afternoon. Anderson? It's me, Mr. K. You? You again? Don't tell me you're modeling that outfit. Mr. K, I just got to talk to you, but before I do, I want to apologize for what happened in the restaurant. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> It's not terrible. It's when they stop tearing your clothes off that you got to start worrying. Oh, I'm so sorry about what happened, Mr. K. I just can't tell it, you how nothing sorry happened I am. Very much. You I see, just had I have little vicious oh, thoughts in my head. Comedians, you'll do anything for a laugh. <laughs> Two children and I live in Danfield, and, and I promised him that I would get. What's the matter? Do you mind if we continue this discussion? Uh, it's a little chilly out here. Well, well, why don't we go up in my, my, my room? Your room? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> 
the lobby like this? What's the matter with you? How am I going to walk through the lobby? I can't walk through the lobby like that. Well, wait a minute. What? Come with me. I got an idea. Can I? Well, I'm not sure. No, I now, come on. Come on. These are two hands. <laughs> Stadium. <laughs> it was a double header. <laughs> an awful pest, but you know how it is when you make a promise to children. Well, I think I may be able to help you. I'm pretty sure. The only person who might have some tickets is Mr. Paley. Who's he? A CBS head man. Oh. Now, lucky for you, Mr. Paley and I are like that. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, I want to thank you, Mr. K. Thank you so much. You know, you're not only a great performer, but you're a great humanitarian. That's nice. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Mr. Paley, please. Hello, Bill? This is Danny. No, not Danny Thomas. No, 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 Bill. Danny K. 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 H I J K. No, not Danny Hidjik. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bill, I was wondering if you had any extra tickets for the show tomorrow night. Well, what do you mean, what show? <laughs> the Danny Hidgick show. <laughs> the Danny K show. Oh, oh. Well, the best he can do is two tickets for Jackie Gleason next April. <laughs> I, I want tickets for your show, Mr. K. No, uh, well, I'm sorry, Bill. No, I can't. No, it's, but thanks anyway. Okay, Bill. Oh. Well, I'm afraid it's hopeless, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, dear. Well, maybe you could sneak us in. Say we're your cousins from Danfield. No, I don't think so. That's the way I'm getting my sponsors in. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, what'll I tell my children? They'll think I'm a failure as a mother. Have you ever felt that you were a failure as a mother? <laughs> no, I, I, I haven't. Come to think of it, my daughter hardly gives me anything for Mother's Day. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? <laughs> well, well, what, do you, what do you want to tell me? I've got an idea. What is it? Maybe, maybe you could work on the show. Oh! Oh, Mr. K! Yeah? Oh, I'm not, I'm not as good as you are, Mr. No, K, but I a... sing and I dance, and once I play two choruses, no, I... a glow worm no. on my saxophone no, no, for no, the, for the no, dance no, no, PTA. That's, that's not what I had in mind. What'd you have in mind? What I had in mind was I thought maybe you and your children could be extras. Extras? Yes. See, I'll use the children somewhere in the cast, and then you can be with the adults as the extras, you see, at the airport scene in the opening. In the opening? Yes. Oh, well, what do I have to do? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Well... Uh, no, nothing. Just nothing. Just blend in with the others. <laughs> blend in quietly, as inconspicuously as possible. I should be inconspicuous? Inconspicuous. What do you say? Well, you sure you don't want me to sing or dance just a little bit? I hardly think so. Well, you're wasting an awful lot of talent. You know, I could go... Mrs. Get my Carmichael! All right, I'll blend, I'll blend, I'll be inconspicuous. <laughs> It's the Danny K Show. And here's Danny. Thank you, thank you very 
very much. This has been one of the most spectacular welcomes I've ever had, and I deeply appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hooray! 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 And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. What a wonderful, wonderful welcome. It is certainly great to be back here in New York. Now, I... <laughs> Anything happen? <laughs> I always say there's no place like New York and no people like New Yorkers. <laughs> you know, I just love New York. Do you know that? I, I adore walking around the city and taking in the sights. You know, a lot of people feel that they know their own city, and I always have the feeling that I have yet to learn more about my city. But I really have got to be careful. The last time I was here, I was arrested six times for jaywalking. <laughs> Anybody ever tell you you were funny? <laughs> Ma'am. Yeah. Dear. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> I, uh, I'm doing a show. And I usually work alone. <laughs> what are you doing there? You, you told me to come out with all these... Ha! <laughs> ah! Speaking of New York, I heard a very cute story the other day. There was a taxi driver, and he drove up to the corner, and he was hailed... <laughs> there was this taxi driver that was driving along this... <laughs> There, there was this taxi driver. <laughs> Ma'am, dear, yeah. honey, hold it. Yeah. Ma'am, yes. drop it! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, what is your first name? Lucille. Lucille. Now, uh, Lucille, uh, did anybody ever call you Lucy? Uh, some of my friends. They did. Well, now that we've gone into partnership, <laughs> how would you like to do a song and dance with me? Oh. Would you like that? Oh. We... Huh? Yes. Fine. Now, all you have to do is just follow me. Do exactly as I do. Oh, all right. Fine? Yes. Okay. All right, Maestro, please.